Now the Super Bowl is just days away and the fans who made the trek to Vegas have plenty to do before the big game. ABC 7 News reporter Zach Fuentes has been checking out some of those attractions and he joins us live this morning. Zach, did you just come from a club? Did you sleep? Did you get some rest? What is it? What is it like out there? I just came back from the Starbucks. We were warming up from the last <laughs> live shot because it's actually very cold in Las Vegas this morning. So the Starbucks was open because, you know, things are open at all hours of the day here in Vegas and we're very grateful for that this morning. I want you to see the high roller right now. It is the tallest observation wheel in North America, and this weekend it's going to be lit up with Super Bowl team colors. So that's just one of the Super Bowl-related things happening here in town. Yesterday, we got to spend the day in downtown Las Vegas. That's old Las Vegas. It's rich in history, and that makes it the perfect spot for the Mob Museum. We got in there yesterday before the crowds got in for an exclusive tour. We're going to show you a look at it right now. You can't tell the history of Las Vegas without bringing up the impact organized crime had on it. Transformed from a historic post office, the nonprofit Mob Museum does just that, taking visitors in downtown Las Vegas on a tour, showing the history of the mob and organized crime around the world. Oh, not the oh. switch. I showed you a glimpse of it from the museum's electric chair earlier this week. Now, as promised, here's that inside look. As we kick off this tour, it's important to note that the Mob Museum says they're not doing anything to glorify the mob. All of this here is based, in fact, and history. Take a look at these real life artifacts, including the actual wall from the St. Valentine's Day Massacre on February 14, 1929. The story of those historic events told in captivating detail through other rare artifacts and pictures. Now, when you hear mob museum, you might think everything here is maybe only from the 1920s or 1930s, but that's not the case. They're covering a lot of recent stories here. Look, El Chapo and his great escape. This model showing how he escaped. Not only is the museum giving a provocative and contemporary look at organized crime, the exhibits are also immersive. So this is one of my favorite parts of the Mob Museum, the Crime Lab. It's a super interactive area where you get to do things like fingerprint analysis, DNA profiling. After all of that work, it's time to head underground to check out the Prohibition era libations being made in the speakeasy. Of course, you have to know the password. What do you want? Harlem Stride. In just about all of Vegas's major attractions, the Mob Museum has created something special for Super Bowl 58 visitors. So with a big game here in town, we knew we wanted to uh, celebrate a little bit of the history of the NFL. Enter the Bookmaker, a twist on an old fashion created in honor of Charles Artists. McNeil, who revolutionized sports betting. So most of our cocktails are based on the drinks that you would have found in that day, with just some modern twists to kind of uh, brighten and freshen them up. And now we have the Bookmaker. I'm going to take a sip here. Salute. It's a hit, guys. So as always, drink responsibly, stay away from organized crime, and don't find yourself here. The electric chair is actually a ton of fun. That's why I had to show it multiple times in that piece. Look, if you're coming to Vegas this week or it's any time in the future, head to downtown Las Vegas, the Mob Museum. It's not a spot you want to overlook. Now, tomorrow we're going to be back here on the Strip bringing you just an incredible story it's about a woman who literally went from housekeeper to Vegas headliner. She's a Bay Area native. We're going to sit down with her tonight and bring you that story tomorrow. I'm looking forward to that. Right now, live in Las Vegas, Zach Fuentes, ABC7 News. So, Zach, as a Las Vegas native, I have to imagine that you knew a lot of that mob history? Is there anything that jumped out that maybe you didn't know? You know what? Can I tell you? I'm embarrassed to say that was my first time in the Mob Museum. It had been open for about oh, 12 wow. years. I never got to visit in there, and I learned so much. It really is incredible. There's so much we couldn't even get into in that piece. It is fascinating. It's not a boring museum by any means, and there is a lot of uh, roots in organized crime in Las Vegas, <laughs> and so it's interesting to see that. And again, they don't glorify it, but it is fascinating, and it is just incredible to learn how this city was built up and the impacts of organized crime really around the world. It's not just here in Vegas, folks. Mm -hmm. sure. The more you know. All right, Zach, you stay out of trouble there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Go get some more coffee, warm right. up. <laughs>